Hey friends, welcome back to a new Power BI video. Today I'd like to introduce you to the new feature which was released in the November 2021 update, which was the page navigation button. So in the past, what we did probably was you as well did was to insert buttons right under go to insert. And there we had options using text box, sorry, using buttons or shapes, and then triggering actions on those shapes and buttons. And this would allow us to navigate, for instance, from one report page to another report page. And the same is true for images as well. And this is nice. And now there's a new feature, which is a complete navigation bar, which means that under buttons, if you have the latest version of Power BI, you'll now find the navigator option at the bottom. And this option allows you to insert page navigator and a bookmark navigator. So both can be used. And in this video, I'd like to introduce you to the page navigator. So if I click on page navigator, then by default, this is what I get at the top. So it's simply here, a list of all the pages I have in my report. So you already see that my report is quite cluttered, but you also see that it works. So if you press here, click on one, you can navigate to a specific page. So the navigation itself probably works or obviously works. Now, this of course can be now styled because I think this might be very helpful, especially if you have, if you put this on your, maybe your uh, first, your screen, right? In your report for navigation purposes, like a landing page, if you want to call it this way. But I would personally like to configure it a little bit. So I don't like the default as it's here, but you'll see if you take it and you go to the uh, format navigator here to these options, you have various options to style here, this specific layout. So one thing which I would personally prefer is to have it not horizontally, but vertically. So that means if I go to the grid layout here and take this option, I can set the orientation. For instance, I could say here vertical, and then it looks like it's gone. However, if you just make it a little bigger to the bottom here, like that, then you see that here you now have it uh, vertically aligned. You can see all the pages. Because I personally prefer to have it maybe here on the side. But as I said, um, that's my personal preference. Of course, I would encourage you to try this out and use it the way you want it. Next, I can see that I got a lot of pages in my report. However, I already uh, did some kind of, well, um, pre-processing, if you want to call it this way, because I hide hided some of my uh, pages. Yeah? So they are hidden. And uh, I can easily go to the pages option here. And here you have the option to uh, either want to show the tool to pages or not. And also, do you want to show the hidden pages or not? And in my case, I like to untick this because this is set by default to on. But if I untick it, you see that now my specific pages, which I want to navigate to in my report, of course, have been now um, pre-filtered. And here I can see only the ones which are not hidden and also not tooltip pages. So that's very nice that you can turn this off, especially if you have a lot of hidden pages and also tooltip pages, which are nice for visual tooltips. However, you do not, you do not really want to go or uh, lead your report uh, consumer to the specific page, right? You only want to see the page if you hover over visual for the tooltip pages. So next you have various options regarding the style, which can be set. What should happen if someone uh, hovers over something? For instance, you could say uh, here for the different kind of states. So if someone hovers over a button, then what should happen? Maybe you would like to increase the text size a little bit. So just to show that how that works, let's say 13 here. Uh, let's say the font color uh, will be just to highlight this, um, maybe try a black and uh, also Maybe for the fill, let's go in here. The fill color will be, let's say, white. So just that we see it, okay? And now you will see that if I hover over another button, you see that the specific here, the, the font increases and also uh, the font is now black and the background is so white, right? Like hovering over the state. And the same is true, of course, for other kinds of options here for the states. So if you want to change it for press states or select states, you can also change that here regarding the font as well as the size and also the color of the background as well as the font. 
So various options which can help you and of course the report consumer a little bit with navigation because I think it's a nice effect if you hover over something and then uh, you can see that uh, here and that for instance something changes like the background and also the font, maybe the font size and so on. Uh, an additional thing which I would like to point out here is if I go to the rotation here, I have the option to rotate my shapes um, or rotate everything. Like for instance this one, I could type in 90 degrees and then I have it here in, uh, from top to bottom, which I personally prefer. And uh, finally, I'd like to actually also go to the shape option here and say for the shapes, there is a very interesting shape from my point of view, which is this parallelogram. So let me check that here and let's just see what that looks like. So here, now you can see you got here your pages and this looks a little bit like, um, yeah, like a folder structure, I think. Um, so let me just check that here and make it a little bit smaller maybe uh, like that. Uh, that should be fine. And uh, now I got exactly this uh, hovering behavior. Of course you can improve this, right? Uh, currently it's not perfect. I uh, totally admit that. Uh, but uh, the point is this is just to show you what you can do with this kind of navigation here. And you have all the specific sites you want the end user to navigate to. Um, if you don't want a site here to appear, then do it like me. Just maybe right click on a specific page and hide the page, right? Because the page is still there, but um, at least it's it's gone here from the, the ribbon because you can turn it off, right? So this allows you here to specify then the specific navigation pages here. And again, you can go to the options here, change the shape to the shape you prefer the most, change the rotation. If you don't like it the way I have created it here, you can change it if you want. I also would uh, probably use uh, names which are better than the ones I have here but they were, these were just for demo purposes. So um, I guess you, you choose better names. So you have also the line break and so on, right? And uh, yeah, then choose different styles, the styles you think works best here for the end consumer. Um, also, of course, use the font you think is best. Maybe you have a corporate identity in specific font, then of course, uh, use this for the whole report, right? So that's actually it for this navigation option. You can also play around with the specific borders here. You can see currently they are quite big, but you can change it here as well. If you go to the border option at the bottom and there um, change the width if you want. And also let me go to the options here, grid layout, scroll here, the padding itself. If you make this smaller, you'll see that also the, the space between the pages here shrinks down. So it's also an option you have in here, right? So, and that's it. That's quite helpful, I think. That's really nice to introduce this um, in Power BI and to implement this in your reports. Um, just one little thing you need to be aware of, of course, is um, that it is the same for all the buttons you have in here in the navigation uh, page. So currently you can't say if I hover over page number two, it should look different from page number one if I hover over that, um, and also page number three and so on. So uh, the, the effect itself you created is the same for all the pages you have. I mean, this is, of course, most often actually totally fine. But if you think of something like, um, okay, depending on the page, I need to have a specific effect, and then you would have to go with the, let's say, the old way and creating several buttons um, for, na for navigation, which you create then on your own. And then you can specify uh, each button individually and, and change the font size and change the behavior, like the color and so on. Okay. So that's it for this video. Hopefully that was interesting. And as I said, I encourage you to try this out yourself. Uh, feel free to, to check it out. You just need to uh, enable the, the preview features probably because otherwise you won't see it. And of course, download the latest Power BI software. If you have not done so far, then please give this video a like and also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more about Power BI, Python, or also Tableau and other kinds of softwares. Just let me know what you want to see and I will try my best uh, to create a video uh, to help you out, okay? So stay healthy and hopefully see you in the next video. Until then, thanks guys.